Welcome back to the garage. I'm Robert, and this is Haslip Psychorks. Wait, wait. Exciting news, guys. We're on the new Sir Flat Well table, and I'm coming to you in four. Here we go. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a few dollars worth of clamps and hardware into clamps that you can use on your surf flat weld table. These clamps were a few dollars at my local Harbor Freight. You can pick them up anywhere, Harbor Freight, Northern, uh, any other tool supply. Uh, but these were three, four dollars maybe a piece. Um, they are the six inch clamp uh, we're not concerned about this end we're going to remove that um, and give us all the functionality we could need on the surf flat table along with those clamps we'll be using some 5 8 bolts important part is this shank right here where you don't want any threads we're actually going to cut off the threaded section so that it fits into the holes in our sort of flat weld table. Since we're not concerned about this section of the clamp, I'm going to go ahead and I've seen other people try to drive these out and they have some trouble. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this with my porter band saw to remove this section. We're just going to cut this flat shaft here to remove this section. We don't need this. Like I said, we don't need this particular part. We don't care about that, so we just lob that off. We're not gonna need that. This is the meat that we're worried about here. Uh, this is gonna give us what we need. So we're gonna, I've cut the, that section off with the porter band saw. I'm gonna clean the powder coat or paint, whatever this is, off and on to the next step. So we just went ahead and took our paint or powder coat, whatever this happens to be, off with the angle grinder and a flap disc. Got it down to some clean, shiny metal. Uh, we want that because we're going to cut a notch in our bolt that this can set into, and then we're going to take that together. And you do want a little bit of a cant right there. Um, if you can see that it's not flat. We don't want it perfectly flat. We want it canted just a little bit so that it actually binds when we put tension on this in the hole of the table. You, you'll see once we get this done. Here is took the coating off the head of our bolt um, just to prepare it for when we get ready to weld it. We'll go ahead and wipe it down and uh, clean it thoroughly when we go to weld it. But right now I just wanted to go ahead and get this, I think it's a zinc coating off of here. Um, you always wanna be careful when you're welding any sort of coating on the steel, you wanna get that off. A lot of that stuff can mess you up pretty bad, can make you sick, um, and some of it can kill you. Uh, so be very careful what you weld on and make sure that you take all the coating off. You do not wanna breathe that in. Um, Best case scenario, the coatings are gone and you have some sort of respirator or fresh air system. Um, but, you know, yeah, always safety first. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to mount this grinding wheel. It is a 24 grit metal grinding wheel, four inch from Harbor Freight as well, into my angle grinder. And we're going to use it to cut a groove across the head of this bolt which this will then set into like so um, and the cool thing about this is the thickness of this flat shaft here is the same as the width on this wheel so that that worked out perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and off camera uh, cut like I said cut a notch in the top of this, the bolt head here, and I'll bring you back once that's done. So 
we're back and I went ahead and cut that groove in the head of the bolt you can see nothing too deep nothing crazy just just enough to stick the shaft of that clamp in there and get it bonded together um, just with the angle grinder and that grinding wheel I showed you earlier um, so now what we're gonna do is cut the threaded section off um, probably just do that with a uh, cutoff wheel in the angle grinder just snip that right off there and I'll bring you back so now we've got our bolt trimmed down to where we want it um, got it cut uh, right above the threads smoothed that out and I rounded the edge over just to keep keep it easy to insert into the holes in the sur flat table uh, we don't want anything binding it up when we go to drop it in um, get it all cleaned up got it V'd here at the top give us some nice grooves for some penetration when we go to weld it in and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the set it in the hole in the table and then we're gonna put the clamp on it and uh, then I'm gonna get suited up put my TIG gear helmet and gloves and whatnot and we'll go ahead and tack it in and then uh, give it a full uh, two beads on there so she's nice and solid. Let me go ahead and get suited up and uh, I'll bring you back when we get ready to start welding. We're all set, I'm suited up. Um, I'm gonna come around to the other side of the table where you can see me. Our, uh, we tested our fit up between our clamp and our bolt and everything looks good. So uh, let me get on the other side of the table and we'll start tacking this thing together. And I went ahead and removed the rubber foot that was on there. Was, well, that'll probably just burn off anyway. As you can see, we got her welded together, nice and solid, not going to go anywhere on us. We're going to let it cool down and I'll hit it with a wire wheel just where some of that extra paint and stuff baked off and uh, we'll bring, it, bring you back 
and we'll test it. Make sure it holds down what we want and acts as we expect. All right. Grab one of my one, two, wire wheel. Box. She we'll looks pretty good. Here and make sure it works. And they're solid. All right. Let me uh, grab a piece of tube or something that we can throw in the table and use this clamp on and uh, make sure she locks down. Uh, yeah, I think I could probably lift the table up from this one, two, three block now. Um, shoot. it's not going anywhere. So this thing was, I would consider this a success. Um, like I said, a couple bucks, Harbor Freight for the clamp, like a dollar for the grade five, five, eight inch bolt. A little bit of time and prep work and yourself, save yourself 20 bucks. The uh, clamps online that you can buy that are just like this, that are made for this purpose um, from different vendors run anywhere between 15 to $25 on up. Um, I think we have at this point with tax and everything, $5 in the single clamp. So you can make four or five of these for the price of one of those. Um, if you had the ability to, I, I don't see why you wouldn't, um, works perfect and we built it ourselves. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to do the same thing with these vice grips, this larger C clamp, and then this, uh, cam clamp here and, uh, see if we can get that set up. Uh, I'm not going to bring you along for the entire process for the other clamps. It's the exact same as we did here. Uh, but I will show you the finished products and uh, maybe zoom in and get some closer shots for you. All right, as you can see, I've got all the clamps done, set up. Each one's holding just random stuff I had around the garage. Um, I'm going to get you guys mobile and get you in close so you can kind of see them. Um, here we go. time guys get up get out there and do it don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you next time